Hello, hello everyone. It's me, that divination witch. I hope you're doing well. I'm back with another witchy video, another in my reaction series. Now, I react to several different things and last time, it should be the last time if I'm uploading it in the right order, but last time I reacted to some Am I the Asshole posts on Reddit and this is the witchcraft edition. So I've got some more to react to. If you've got anything you want me to react to, <laughs> let me know, put it in the comments, link me, whatever, tag me, and uh, let's let's just address some situations, all right, let's go. But hello, if you're new here, I just wanna say hi and welcome, I'm Sarah, I'm that divination witch, I hope you're well. This is a safe space, so you're free to ask questions, Nothing's a silly question, so ask away. If there's anything you want me to react to, anything you want an opinion on, you know, anything at all, put it in the comments below. Help each other out as well. You know, I want this to be a nice place for people to hang out. And if you like that, hit subscribe. And uh, if you want to support my channel further, I've got a link tree below with a shop. I've got my own website now. I've got a Patreon and I provide readings on all those things. So if you want a reading from me, check it out. I'd be so, so grateful if you did. It helps me do what I do. <laughs> Thanks. Number one. Right. Let's go. Will I be the asshole for bringing my own small cleansing herbs instead of what's provided? And people have voted this, not the asshole. So let's see. What the heck is this about? Right. So I'm a witch and I come from a family of witches and my cousin, we'll call her Andrea, is getting married. She is coming to an area close to me for a bachelorette party and I'm invited. Her maid of honour, Tiana, is not a witch and is planning on cleansing and offering ritual in honour of Andrea's mum, who passed away when she was a teen and will not be able to attend the wedding. This whole ritual is a surprise for Andrea. I think it's a great idea, but Tiana did no research on witchcraft and closed practices. For cleansing, she wants us all to burn white sage smudge sticks. White sage and the term smudging are both part of a closed practice and my family is not part of said practice. I am not the one who wants to steal from other cultures. So when Tiana told us about the planned ritual, I said it was closed. I love the intention, but I won't participate using white sage and said I would bring my own small cleansing sticks uh, made of herbs that are allowed to be a part of our culture. Tiana was very adamantly against this idea and I offered to bring bundles for all the brides group for free. Hand blessed, positive intentions. She opposed this because she'd already bought her own white sage sticks. I said, okay, I'll simply just bring one for myself. And then she got angry and said I was disrespecting her. I just stopped responding. And at this point, I'll just go and do my own thing away from everyone because I don't want to actively participate in appropriating a culture. Am I the asshole here? Okay, no, you're not. I think that's pretty respectful what you've done there uh yeah white sage if you don't know is part of a closed practice i have spoke about it before on my channel but white sage it's uh part of native american practices and yes okay it's a plant and some people will argue well it's a plant you know how can that be closed well the reason why is because it's medicine to these people it, it, like i don't mean that i hope that didn't come across rude <laughs> but it's medicine to native american peoples it's sacred to them it's a sacred herb the smoke from the white sage doesn't cleanse it has no cleansing properties it calls upon their ancestors so i mean use it all you want but you're calling upon some Native American spirits there. <laughs> and these days, it's everywhere. It really is. It's in every witchcraft shop. It's in every wholesaler, spiritual shop. You know, people buy it freely because it's cheap. I mean, it's, it's mass marketed now. And I didn't know that it was closed a few years back. I've learned from listening to Native American peoples. That's how I've learned. I've learned things because I've listened to the people from the cultures that it comes from. Uh, so yeah, I, w I personally would not do that. You know, I wouldn't use that. And I feel like this person is not the asshole in this occasion, because if that was me, I'd probably do the same. Maybe, I, I don't know how it was handled. I mean, she said she offered to give everyone 
cleansing herbs and whatever but I would maybe explain it a bit more than that like the fact is that you're not you're not smudging anything love <laughs> you're calling upon indigenous people of America uh it's not even doing what you want so yeah you may have bought this stuff return it to the earth you know I would have I mean if it's my is it a cousin yeah I mean, I don't know how much it would have been, but I would have said, look, here's the money for it. I'll, I'll give you the money for it. I am a spiritual practitioner. I'm, I'm a spiritual person myself. I know this and it's not going to have the intention that you want, however well intended that is. So, no, I don't think this person's the asshole in this case. I think it's very important to do research. It's, it's like with anything, do research. It's like when people buy a pet, you don't, well, people do just dive in head first. Don't, don't do research. I think of hamsters. I love hamsters. I won't have them anymore because they don't live very long, poor little things. But, you know, people dive in head first, get a silly little cage that's shaped like, I don't know, a castle or a dinosaur or something. And it's about the size of this tiny little box. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, and, and people just dive head first into it without the proper care and attention. Whereas hamsters actually need a massive enclosure because uh, they they go for miles, literally in the wild, they, they go for miles, you know. Uh, it's cruel to keep them otherwise. So, yeah, you've always got to do a little bit of background research. Even just a quick Google search will tell you that it's it's not for everyone. But it is what it is, but I think they're... Reddit voted them right. They're not the asshole. What do you think? What's your opinion? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, next example. Here we go. <laughs> next example. Am I the asshole for telling my sister she's not a witch? Well, I mean, it sounds like it straight away, but here we go. Uh, I'll try and make it short. I'm 20. My sister's 22. She's become obsessed with witch stuff. Thought it was just an aesthetic thing. But she genuine, genuinely believes in some weird stuff. Has an altar in her apartment and tries selling blessings and hexes on Etsy. My birthday was recently and she got me a rock. I laughed at first, realising she was serious. I was pissed because I bought her an iPhone portable charger and she earns more than me. So I snapped at her and said, it's all bullshit. She needs a reality check and to find better hobbies. She's been crying to our mum, but am I really the asshole? And they voted everyone's the asshole. I don't think everyone's the asshole in this scenario, from, even from what they've said. I mean, there's two sides to every story. Well, first and foremost, you both need to grow up. <laughs> That's a harsh reality of it. You're both in your 20s. All right, yeah, young 20s, but still your, your adults act like it. That's what I'd say, first and foremost. You are coming across very much an asshole. Doesn't matter about whatever she believes and, and whatever you think about that. That's fair enough. You think what you want to think, but it's the entitledness. You are coming across like an entitled spoiled brat because she got you a rock, which is probably a crystal. And those things cost more than an iPhone charger. Just saying, it depends the size, but I mean, the 50 odd quid, 60, 70, hundreds, some of them. Uh, yeah. All right. It wasn't your cup of tea. And you know, she should have realised that. And from her point of view, if she is reading between the lines, trying to push it onto you, that's not okay either. Because each to their own, we all have freedom of belief. And, you know, you don't have to believe what she believes and vice versa. But to be this entitled, even if she bought you, I don't know, a pair of socks, <laughs> love, who are you? You, you? Like, you're a spoiled brat. That's what you are. Yeah. Oh, hiccup. Yeah, I think they're a spoiled brat and I think they're the asshole. I don't really think the sister is unless the sister is pushing it onto them. And who are they as well to judge them on Etsy? It screams jealousy to me. You know, you go, girl. If you are, if you ever stumble across this girl, whoever you are, you go, girl. P fuck your brother. Just because you're related doesn't mean that you have to get along <laughs> at the end of the day. Jealous much? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. All right, next one, next one. Whew. <laughs> Would I be the asshole if I dressed like a witch? All right, before we even read this, what does it mean to dress like a witch? Dress the way you want. I mean, 
I do. Some days I'm more casual than others. I mean, sometimes, some days I might be a bit gothic, some days not. It, 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 you know, I've got Killstar things, Ralph Lauren things, you know, Calvin Klein, Primark. <laughs> it's not all about the designer. I go for preppy, for, for not preppy. It doesn't matter. Look, it doesn't matter. It's, it's just clothes at the end of the day. Anyways, just my two cents there. I know not everyone shares that sentiment. But they voted them not the asshole. Let's read it. I am 32 female. I've got a co-worker, 70 female. Oh, okay. Just to say 70 female. You, oh, hats off to you. You're working a long time in your life. Just saying, well done. <laughs> working past retirement. Uh, she always invites me to the Baptist church. And I say, no thanks. We go about our business because I'm pagan. But I never bring up religious talk at work, which is good. That's good. Each to their own. Uh, the thing is, she keeps inviting me, uh, culminating in an invite to a church camp that doesn't allow phones or cameras. I said, no thanks. And she told me very empathetically that the Lord called her to convert me. Would I be the asshole if I were obviously pagan at work? Dressing witchy, bringing my grimoire, she brings her Bible, talking about it, etc. Oh, <laughs> the voted are not the asshole. <sighs> Two wrongs don't make a right. But if that was me, I'd want to do something like that too. I, you know, I, I wear my strophalos, that's Hecate symbol, or pentacles. I mean, it's quite obvious I'm a witch. I mean, I've got it. <laughs> tattooed on me that that grandma wouldn't like me but who who does that person think she is the 70 year old <sighs> it's brainwashing at its finest she's of the older generation at the end of the day to me i know people say well she's older older generation she doesn't know any better bullshit i'm sorry it's an excuse you're justifying brainwashing essentially uh, I know people of that age who are really with it and with the times and, and want to know more and educate themselves. That's just an, a feeble excuse in my book. Now, it was fine up until she said that, basically. You know, yeah, be friendly, yeah, all right? She might have been friendly or whatever at first, but saying the Lord called me to convert you, mm -mm, no. I don't know what the employment laws are like in America. I don't think there is, no offence to any Americans, I don't think there is good as over here, as in, I don't think there's as much protection for you guys. Because over here there are certain laws, uh, especially when it comes to the workplace, where you can't discriminate. You can't discriminate against someone's religion, ethnic background, sexuality, orientation, uh, disabilities, <laughs> There's and mental health is in that as well, I think. But there is a freedom of religion and, you know, between two colleagues, yes, you can choose to bring it into the workplace if they were friendly with each other and just having a chit chat. But if it became offensive like that, that is offensive to me. Uh, you could take that up with human resources, surely, if she wouldn't back down, that is, because she could get wrong for that. At least in the UK, she would. Uh, obviously not in America. But to handle it differently it's up to you i mean fight fire with fire by all means but <sighs> these types of christians no offense you're just justifying it further so you if you went in there all guns blazing now i'm not calling you a satanist or anything but if you went in there say with a satanic bible then you're just kind of fueling her fire and i would just rise above it personally as best you can i know it's hurtful but I would stop talking with them, maybe, be civil, keep it work-related only. Uh, but fighting fire with fire, although you're not the asshole, it's just going to make things worse, in my opinion. That's the mood I'm in right now anyways, but I get it because I'd probably want to do the same. It's a, it's a difficult situation, really. Uh, but if you go in there all guns blazing with your stuff, then you're going to just feed her, fi her fire sort of thing. You're just going to feed her twisted belief that oh you're lost and oh my god it's satanic and it's all demons and it's probably gonna go down that road and it's just gonna make it worse <laughs> so you know what this it's an ignorant person 
I wouldn't talk with them. I wouldn't I wouldn't waste my energy on them personally. But let me know what you think. How would you handle that? If you came across that, especially in a workplace, I mean, if it was me in the UK, you know, I would be polite and say to not do that. And if it, if it continued and if she pushed it, then I would be going to HR about it. Uh, yeah. And yeah, essentially, you know, it's not okay. It's not okay. I would be direct as well and say, look, love, look, love, this is my religion. That's your religion. You believe in Jesus and I mean, I believe in Jesus, but I'm, I'm not Christian. But you think he's the Messiah, the Savior, whatever. That's absolutely fine. But your religion, if I was a Jew, if I was a Muslim sitting here, would you be doing that? I don't think so. So shut up and go away. <laughs> That's what I'd say. Okay. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Am I the asshole for asking my wife not to burn certain types of incest or incense or sage indoors and people have said they're not the asshole so let's get into this one so my wife has been getting further into witchy things lately and has been burning candles and doing small rituals with incense i've got a sensitive nose and can smell it through a closed door down the hall and while the majority of the time she chooses an incense that is at least tolerable recently she had one that was extremely disgusting to to me it was a mixture of burning tire and rogue kill she thought back what she brought back a bundle of something she found on a walk that she's going to dry and burn and i said something along the lines of i hope it smells better than the last one and doesn't trigger the smoke detector it's extremely sensitive goes off frequently when cooking it's pretty clear that she intends to sage cleanse bless protect the apartment by burning the bundle and possibly go from room to room. She took offence to this and was quiet for about 10 to 15 minutes before telling me that she was hurt. She, sh she said I should be flexible and suggested sitting out on the 25 square foot rear balcony or going for a drive while she burned it. I don't drive for leisure, never have. And going to a friend's house or public place, uh, it's not an option given our location in the pandemic. Oh, this was a few years back. So I would have to leave our apartment when she fills it with smoke and smell for the length of time. Not sure how long the smell would stick around. Just sit somewhere else. I'm conflicted. I feel like I shouldn't have to leave my apartment. It's comfortable. I'm spending 99% of my time here. I work from home now. I also feel like a child folding my arms and whining. No, I'm not leaving. I'm a arsehole. Oh, God. You're a both sausages <laughs> what grow up again i'm just gonna tell everyone oh, grow up man right you both live there and to me there's a lot to unpack okay i would say you're both an asshole personally i don't know let me know what you think so with regards to the lady the witchy lady i mean from a witch's point of view if someone doesn't like it it's a bit like why don't you like it as in, have you got some neg energy there? And I do feel like the guy has some neggy energy. <laughs> uh, and sometimes, you know, I even t sneeze because of incense and, you know, get a bit sensitive over it. But I know, all right, I, I, I need cleansing, you know. Uh, so I'd be thinking that. And from what he said, there is a bit of negativity between them, for sure, there. Now... Incense and smoke is not the only way that you can cleanse your home. And if it was me and it was my partner saying they, they were sensitive to the smoke, etc. I mean, if she's setting off the smoke alarm and stuff, is she even ventilating the place properly? I mean, for me, when I've got incense on, especially having a pet, I have the doors wide open, the windows open. You want that anyways. If you're cleansing, especially smoke cleansing, incense, sage, whatever... You, you want to let the vibes out. You want a free flow of air into your place. You, you don't want it hanging around to be setting off alarms. So I'd be looking at that. Is she even ventilating it properly? Uh, but also I'd be looking at maybe other ways to cleanse. The sound cleansing. You can make some sprays, floor washers. You know, there's all sorts of other things you can do. Uh, so why not make... A cleansing spray 
you know, it might still have a smell to it if it's got, say, Florida water in it or do cologne in or, you know, lemon even or mint or, you know, something refreshing. But if it's got something like that in it, the smell might not be as strong. It's all about communication and compromise, I feel here. I think it's not just because they're into witchy stuff and it, I feel like it's two childish people. I mean, to go and cry or whatever. But she took offence and was quiet for a few. Like, that's huffy. That's very childish to me. And I couldn't tolerate anything like that. And I couldn't tolerate someone like him going, I'm not doing that. Well, I'm not either. Oh, grow up. Bog off. <laughs> if you're going to live together, you've got to be compatible. This is why, you know, I'm very picky myself. Uh, not because I'm a catch or anything like that, but when it comes to that, I am pretty picky with who I let in my space and vice versa, you know. Uh, you don't want to just let anyone in. It sounds like they're just immature people to me. I hope they're all right. Maybe they're not even together anymore. But if that was me, it's all about talk to each other and compromise. There's other things you can do. Jeez Louise, grow up. But what do you think? Would you be offended if someone said, I can't breathe? I don't like the smell. All right, okay. What do you like? Fine. <laughs> Talk to each other, for God's sake. And then to post it on Reddit. It's so funny. Anyways, there we go. There's uh, there's my am I the has assholes for this session. Session? Session. Session. <laughs> oh, I've lost it. Okay. Let me know what you thought. If there's anything else you want me to react to, any other Reddit posts, link me, tag me, whatever. You know, let me know. If you want to see more of my reactions, check out my playlist on my channel of reactions to different things, Reddit, TikToks, videos, etc. Uh, if you want to learn more about witchcraft, I've got a beginner playlist. And I've got playlists to do with paganism, etc. And Hecate, who I love very much. And yes, if you made it this far, please hit subscribe. So, until next time, stay safe, stay witchy. Bye.